veganism man, is a moral imperative. It is not a choice. Why? Veganism not only affects your life. If veganism only affects your life and not uh, affect innocent animals, the environment, and cost. I mean, the main reason um, that it costs um, the starvation of children in Africa and other countries and it only affects your health. Oh, yeah, do it. Be sick. Get cancer. Get the diabetes. I don't care. If it only is about health. I don't truly I truly don't care about if people take large amount of cocaine if they're not harm other animals. If they want to smoke weed all the times. As long as they don't smoke weed in my face, I'm no problem with that. If they want to eat uh, vegan junk food all the time, with a lot of oil, want to drink uh, bottles full with oil of oil, they can do that. I don't really care about that. If people want to be sick, be sick. But you have no rights in order to make yourself sick to harm others. Other living beings. Imagine yourself commodified, exploited. That others say that your life doesn't matter at all. Say that they can do with you to you whatever they want. Whenever they want. What kind of person do you think? Say that if they say that you are not important at all. You just are a toy, a tool, a thing. And it. I think you want to add somebody stand up for your right to be free. Say that the choice of your oppressors, of your oppressors, are a violence, not cute, not funny, and totally barbaric. I think. You want that somebody end it, so that you can be free and happy and free from torment. Do you not think the animals want the same exact thing? Change is quite easy. The only thing people have to do is stop it listening to their eager and ignorant parents, their misguided dietitians and doctors. Their uh, slanderous media and the corrupt politicians. On what take is fearless, curious people that stand for something to make substance change in this society. That's Gary Rossi, Malcolm X, and many others have said before me. Are you being ready to look yourself in the eye? Apologize for the way you have living. Make a plea and move forward. Not casting intentional harm to somebody else ever in your life. Again.
Not paying people to hang animals upside down on the slaughterhouse floor, cut their throats, or shoot them blood between their eyes. Or put them in electron comb baths. Put them in gas chambers, just like the Nazis have done by our Jews. The only thing I have to not be a Nazi in the eyes of the animals. Why want you to cause intentional harm to an innocent living being? Eat beans, eat lentils, eat lagoons, eat tofu. Check out my um, recipes on my other channel, on my immortal vegan channel. I've uh, many kinds of recipes from many countries and different countries. Please. Put the mind on that. If you, if you uh, cannot stand it, when dogs been eaten by people in China, you uh, become sad. When some of you, well, some vegans want to show you slaughterhouse village because they want to let you see the truth. Stop being a hypocrite. It's easy being vegan in this time. You don't have to eat just like me. Uh, you can also check check out um, Gary Rovsky's website. Go to the recipe section if you uh, don't want to eat low-fat vegan like me, because that's what I most of the time eat, and most of my recipes are low-fat vegan. Veganism is the least we can do. For the environment, for the for the animals, for people in poor countries, to create peace on this planet. Being altruistic, people come to you humility. <laughs>